Holy shit, I just watched three episodes of Baby Steps, a brand new show about tennis. In general, I think that sports anime tend to be one of the more consistently good genres. Most sports shows tend to be pretty solid, possibly because these shows are reaching a wider audience. They're hitting a bigger demographic than most anime, most of these like late night shows and stuff like that tend to feature more normal dialogue and characters, more relatable scenarios, and of course, sports meta narratives, which sports narratives are pretty great. Pretty much every sports anime that has like ever come out, you'll always see people saying, even if you're not interested in this sport, you should check out this show because it's good. Like, if you ever talk to anyone about Hajime no Ippo, you know, it's tons of people love the show, most of them don't care about boxing. And there are a lot of people who get into sports because of TV shows. My friend Ghost Lightning got into tennis because of Prince of Tennis, and then he went back and could no longer watch Prince of Tennis because that show is ridiculously over the top and not really a realistic tennis show in any way. Which is why it's great that we have Baby Steps, because this is actually a realistic tennis show. I don't know if there's been another realistic tennis show, so it's a welcome change. Now, going into a sports show, you kind of already know where it's gonna go, because obviously the main character is going to start off you know, small, and he's gonna work his way up, become this amazing sports star. I mean, not every sports show is exactly the same, but this is from that archetype. It's a high school kid who is discovering this sport at the start of the show, and he's going to obviously become a master at it, if the, if the opening theme uh, visuals are any indication. But what's cool about this show, to me, is that there's very logical reasons why the character is going to get into tennis. It adds up well, let's put it that way. It's the kind of show where I'm watching it and I can kind of nod my head at the at the premise of how this kid is going to get into tennis and what kind of person he is. The main character is Achan, which the fact that I can even remember his name should indicate to you that he's one of the better characters that I've seen so far this season because most of the characters that I talk about on this show I can never remember their names. Achan is pretty cool. I like him. I like the concept of him because he is a straight-A student who spends most of his time studying. He's known in class for the fact that he takes these ridiculously detailed and comprehensive notes. And, uh, like, the Achan notes are legendary, and he, like, prints them off for everyone in class and, like, gives them all his notes. I just like that he's a character who, even though he's awkward and he's in like he all he does is study he's like you know no fun kind of guy but he's not emotionally distant or depressed or a weird guy or disrespected or bullied or anything like that he's just like a really normal kid who just all he cares about is studying and it just it sort of just comes naturally to him it's not something that he's like pouring all of his energy into studying it's just to him it seems rational like he's just the kind of guy who breaks things down as far as they can go and in order to examine them. And the funny thing about it, what's also cool is that he's not a genius. The reason he does it that way is because he needs that level of notes to understand things. He has to really grasp something from the core level up in order to learn it. So, like, he's the kind of guy who would probably have to read the rule book of a video game before even picking up the controller, because he doesn't have a lot of intuition. It's all logical and figuring things out. They actually say in the show, like, in a way he's an idiot, because he actually just can't understand anything at first, but then he's so dedicated to learning it and getting it right that he'll take all these extensive notes and practice really hard. And I can't really think of any other characters that come to mind immediately that are like that. I mean, there's been plenty of shonen protagonists who work super hard and all they care about is this one thing, but what's interesting about him is that he's doing it dispassionately. Like, he's not actually invested emotionally in anything that he's doing. He just, it's just natural for him to, to work really hard. He has a, an amazing work ethic. And so the first episode is kind of about him finding out about the concept of passion. Like he's never experienced it himself. All he's ever done is just naturally go with the flow and, you know, go through school and work hard because it just seemed like the right thing to do. And so when he finds out this girl who he likes, well, he doesn't like her yet, but 
The girl who he's obviously his love interest, she is extremely passionate about tennis. She wants to go pro, and all she cares about is this one thing, and, you know, she works hard at that thing because she cares about it. It's not that everything in the world is something she works hard at. It's just that this one thing she cares about, and he's never experienced that before. But what's cool about it is that, you know, she gets him into tennis, and then he immediately applies his hard work ethic to the game because he gets interested in it, and he realizes the first time he returns a a ball that it's this great fun like enlightening sort of experience like he's never he's never felt so good about something that he did until the time he returned a ball so yeah it's just got this great flow to it where I, I like how he got into tennis I like how him and this girl have met how they've been connecting you know it, they, it's kind of coincidence they always run into each other but there's this really natural development where you know he doesn't immediately think oh I like this girl but you can tell that you know he's interested in her because she's so passionate and she starts to take an interest in him in episode 3 because he's so hard working and it's like both of them see the best in the other person and it makes them interested and they're starting to to have a, you know emotions toward each other and even now it's not like blatant but you can tell that it's going in a good direction and I, I I just like it I like how everything's set up the show is very slowly paced it clearly is meant to go on for a long time it's called baby steps you know it's like this guy is going to start from the absolute bottom and work his way very slowly up this is not like Hajime no Ippo, where in the first episode, you know, he throws a punch and they all realize, oh my god, he has, like, perfect punching skill, now we just need to hone him. This guy has no skill at all at tennis. He's, he's just, his only skill is that he works so hard at things that he can quickly make progress, and so he studies everything in a way that makes sense. And with tennis, the kind of game it is works well with his ability, where... In tennis, precision is important, you know, getting just the right angle on your swing, getting into just the right position, having your body work in just the right way is sort of the essence of the game. So he immediately latches onto that aspect of it where he's like using a protractor to measure his arm uh, distance and stuff like that, you know, trying to get his swing just right. And his friend makes fun of him for it, but then the girl who's trying to go pro, you know, looks at it and she's like, oh yeah, professionals image train that way all the time. So it just happens that his style of thought works well with the game in question. So it's, you know, it's like a stroke of luck that he's gotten into this particular game that is so well suited to his, his, uh, thinking. On a level of overall enjoyment, I wouldn't say that I'm, like, super hyped for this show. I like Achan as a character a lot. I like the pacing. I like the writing. But nothing's, like, super jump out at me. You know, this isn't the kind of sports show that I'm going to watch for, like, the big dramatic events or anything like that. It doesn't feel like, uh, like it's going to emotionally hit me in any way. But at the same time, it's so well put together. In episode 3... Uh, at the end of the episode, they sort of set up, like, a conflict for why he's going to have his first pseudo-match. And it was set up really well, and it just shows that the show knows how to do drama. It knows how to set up, um, conflict. So, I've got high hopes for this one all around. I think it's tightly written. It looks good in general. You know, I didn't think I was going to keep watching it after the first episode, but it's kept my intrigue just enough that I can see watching it until it gets boring, you know, if if it gets boring. Yeah, if you like sports anime, check this one out. If you like tennis, check it out. I happen to think, te like, I don't watch any sports on TV, but tennis is one of the few that when I watch it, I get really interested in it because of the precision, you know, how calculated it seems to be that you have to have just the right physique and just the right form and just the right amount of running around. So I'm interested in the sport as well, and I'd like to see how they explore it. And it's cool to learn about it in such a gradual fashion where they don't even like introduce the concept of a game until like midway through episode three. This is as slow as we can watch a development without it being a completely mundane. So yeah, I'm gonna keep watching it. Let me know what you think if you see it and see you on the next one.